Hey there, my friends. Today is Thursday, March 4th, and we're in the second week of Lent. Let's start with a prayer. Dear God, St. Luke's is a family. Help us to learn together, to worship together, to share together, to play together, to pray together, and to come together to learn about you. Help us to hear your words and lessons so they may guide us throughout our lives. Help us also to reach out to everyone with this St. Luke's family love. Amen. So today we're talking about a rope. Hmm. Our scripture for today is John 18, 12. Let's take a quick pause and go find it in our Bibles. So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him. John 18, verse 12. Do you see what they're doing there with the rope in the Garden of Gethsemane? They're using it to tie Jesus up. They don't have to do that. Jesus suffers willingly. But they're treating him like an animal, like a dog on a leash. Do you ever treat Jesus like an animal? Saying, you've got to do this. Jesus doesn't need a leash. He promises to come with us always. After all, he came all the way to earth and to Gethsemane and on to Calvary. Just for you. So let's follow on. What are the best ways that we can follow Jesus? What do you think? Take a second to think about it. I have a couple of ways. I think doing things like this, where we can connect with our church family and going to Sunday school is a great way to follow and learn more about Jesus. You can also talk to your grown-ups more about him. You can also read the Bible or try and see if you can find some stories. One of the great ways that we like to find stories about the Bible and Jesus is by watching Veggie Tales. Have you seen Veggie Tales? Do you have any other ways that are good ways to follow Jesus? Tell me now. I love your suggestions. All right, our time is up. Let's end it with a prayer. Thank you, God, for the time we've had today to learn more about you. We promise to follow you, Lord Jesus. Keep leading us gently but firmly. We know that you know the way. May you bless each and every one of us and let your hand of protection be on us throughout the rest of the day. Inspire us as we forget finish our digital gathering today to love and serve you always. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day.